Okay, real briefly, um, what have I been working on as far as moving this Scary Teacher 3D map into from Unity, which we have right here in Unity, all completely pretty much uh, identical to the game. And you want to move it into Gmod or make a hammer map out of it, right? Well, the, one of the biggest issues is that a lot of the meshes are all in combined meshes. And what that problem is, is that each one of these has a material assigned to it, but when you use FBF, FBX export, it will only get the one, first material assigned and you'll have to go through every single one of your uh, meshes and try to assign materials to them. Well, this map is very uh, material. Every single wall has a different material, and but yet it's in the same combined mesh. That makes a big issue um, when you're going into Blender or just going straight from. So what I did do, I'll just skip ahead here, is I made myself a um, script to take any mesh and convert it directly into an SMD file. So you could skip FBX completely and just go straight from an SMD straight into Crowbar and put it in. Um, I'm not going to reveal that script yet because it's still it needs a little bit of work, but it will do it, and uh, it does it okay. But So then there's another thing I found which sub, does a submesh split. It doesn't always work. It unfortunately breaks things down into submeshes, but it seems to something I need to look at it because uh, it errors out a lot, and you don't get all the meshes. It's very, very, uh, I don't know, particular, and you can keep running it, and sometimes you get different meshes that it actually splits. I don't understand what's going on with the with it, but it's broken. So that's a start. Um, I'm trying to make this a real quick overview of what's going on with this. So then we go into Blender, and this is what I had so far broken out. So they have the proper materials associated with them. And as you can see, there's a lot missing. Um, we've got a lot of work to do if we're going to ever get this to work. The other thing I was working on was, see, Hammer uses brushes. And to make you can use Wallworm, but that means going into 3ds Max and all that good stuff and learning Wallworm and all the intricacies of that. So basically what I'm trying to do is skip that step and go directly from Unity and make kind of a, a poor man's Wallworm within Unity. So I created a Make VMF, and what it will actually do is take corners of a rectangle. So far that's all I've got is a, um, if you want to make a cube, it'll take three corners of a cube and it will make it into the solids of the VMF file that you can use in Hammer, which is somewhat useful. Otherwise, the best thing to do is just draw your cubes and apply the textures. So let's go ahead and run what I have. Um, I would not be doing this with no draw. That's just something because I'm lazy right now. But this actually has the proper exterior texture put on it. And unfortunately, in Hammer, it's not showing because I cannot get textures to work in subdirectories in Gary's Mod Hammer. It, I've wasted hours and hours and hours trying to get that to work. So my only solution is I have to copy the textures in, and then I have to change in the VMF file the references to where they are when I finally release it, which is a real pain and hassle. But that's why I just will do it and ignore the fact that I can't see the textures, but I really need to see the textures so I can get the scale of the textures properly and everything, which it's definitely not right now, as you can see. Um, let's go ahead and run this. Let's see if it works. It will bring up Gary's Mod, and you can see how slow this process is. And my computer's fairly fast, but it is not fast enough to do all this with everything open. Let's see what we get. And like I say, this is going to be a long, long process. The Granny map, Granny Chapter 2 map, is actually a little easier and more straightforward as far as the textures go. Again, it has the issues with the sub meshes. Um, so, but you could navigate around and convert each wall without a whole lot because it's a little bit more all in one place. Okay. Waiting, waiting, and this is why this process takes so long, because literally you make a change, you want to see what it looks like, and here you go, this is what we do, we wait. It doesn't make for a very interesting tutorial video, 
Um, and that's why I'm just throwing this together real quick as much as I can. And I will have to do an edited boom, 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 boom. So you can get an idea of the process. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. Um, all right. Ah, I fetch it subscriptions because the very first time I do it, it has to do that. Okay. This wouldn't pause for this if I had already gone in here once, but I had to restart because OBS wasn't capturing my screen. And I found something out about that today. I do not like the o Streamlabs version of OBS as far as it keeps seeming to have bugs. Well, maybe it's because of other things. Okay, I made that a door, but obviously the texture is not the real door texture, and I made it a little too thick and all that good stuff. Um, but these are walls, and if I was having a weapon of some sort here, yeah, just do a crowbar, and you hit them. Okay, so that one is not showing because there's actually the wall in front of it is hiding it. But it is the real wall. Um, all right. Unfortunately, I've got to redo the... Uh, I'll go outdoors and show you that that works out there. It would. I just got to hide the one that's on top because it's not actually a brush. There is a brush underneath there, but it's being hidden by the model's brush or the model's texture. So I'd have to turn off the model's texture. could do that. But I don't want to bore you with waiting for this to happen again. So, as you can see, this texture is over top. If I hide it, there we go. You see the no draw. But this one here is that. So if I ran this um, with it hidden, actually, I don't think it'll hide it. Eh, I think it does hide it. Let's try that. I forget if it hides it or not. I think if you run it hidden, then it'll show what I actually have converted into brushes. <laughs> so converting an entire map into brushes is a long process. Um, Without something, even with wallworm, it's still uh, quite a bit of a task. So, yeah. I want to go directly from Unity straight to Hammer. That is the end goal. If we can do that, um, or a Blender as an intermediary, but if Blender was just for maybe a little bit of Python scripting to go into VMF, Pick a few corners and go into VMF that might be a little easier. I don't know. I'm not an expert on Unity and I know enough Blender to get in trouble. All right, let's see if it's, I don't know if it is or not. I don't think it did. I think it's still showing the, yeah, it's still showing the map. Oh well. So as you can see, this here, walk right through it because it's not real. It's just a facade. And I don't know why the marble is turning up green. The material I have it cap, uh, it's in there. It's and it is white, but when I go up here, it's white on top. Now oh, wait a minute, there it's white on top, but underneath it's reflecting the green I think from down here, which I'm not sure why. So that's a material issue. Anyway, that's it. Um, Scary Teacher 3D has kind of been consuming a lot of my time trying to make this map, which is very slow process. But maybe I'll get it done one of these days.